This place is awesome. It's like the indie station of Latin America. That's the real Chile. I see sort of a theme in movies that you've directed and or produced, like Cabin Fever and The Hostel and Aftershock. Why are you so intent on making me never want to go on vacation? <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. They, they say that no matter what you do, you're just going to make the same movie over and over. I try to make every movie completely different. <laughs> Writing this with Nicolas about his experience, but ultimately it's about a bunch of people that travel to a foreign territory and horrible things happen. I think that it's very exciting to, to want to get away and go on vacation. But even I was just in Hawaii and I had a, like a horrible accident on my fingers. It was just oh. covered in blood. I'm like, oh no matter God. where you go, it, it's, it's one thing to want. <laughs> want to get away from it all, and then as soon as you cut your finger and you're bleeding, you're like, I've, I need help, where's my doctor? What happened to your finger? Oh, it was Why an octo was I don't know, octopus attack. I don't want to get what? into it. I don't know if you qualified as an octopus attack or me scuba diving scene going, oh my god, baby octopus, can I touch it? Ow, they bite? Oh, whoa, I cut my <laughs> finger. Uh, naturally, if I'm swimming in the wild and I see an octopus, I assume it's protecting sunken treasure. So obviously <laughs> I'm going to go for it. They will bite you, man. Oh they god. defend their treasure. Don't yeah. they know who you are? That's what I Come said. On. I <laughs> Prison collapsing. Prisoners are everywhere. Talking with Nicolas, I'm a huge fan of his movies. I love his Spanish language movies, Promedio Rojo, which he made when he was 19, and his Que Pena series. They're all on Netflix. He shot Que Pena Vida on a Canon 7D. It was the first movie that did that. The first one. The first one. He blew it up to 35 millimeter, wow. released it in cinemas in Chile, and it beat Social Network. It made millions of dollars. And he said, there's a new way to make movies. We want to do what Almodovar did back in the day. Mm -hmm. Just use this, build our own stars, write our movies, and just grab a camera and go shoot them. And kill them. And kill them in horrible ways. <laughs> Stuck in a horrible disaster, God forbid, just theoretically, yeah. who do you want to be like trapped under a rafter with? I was at a film festival, and we were, we took like a moped. It was like a bunch of us. So we're, let's take a shortcut through the hills. It starts getting dark. We don't know where we are. Cars are coming around the road. It starts getting dangerous. And like, I don't really know how to do a moped. Anthony Mackie was the coolest. He's like- Pain and gang, gangster squad. You know and I didn't know Anthony that well. People in the group started freaking out and Anthony was like, look, this is the way back. Just calm down, sit on your brake, go. I was like, okay, that's the guy who's in charge. It was like, it was instantaneous. Anthony Mackie, that's who you want next to you in a disaster.